These four kittens found themselves abandoned by their owner at the entrance of a building. The first few days of their life as strays were hard, and suddenly, something shocking happened that forever changed their dynamics as a family. In a quiet corner of Maple Street, four cute kittens, Whiskers, Mittens, Luna, and Tiger, playing at the entrance of a building they had come to think of as their home. Suddenly, their owner came out with a cardboard box and set it down a few meters from the door. With an indifferent glance, he set the small box down and walked away without a moment's hesitation. As soon as the kittens saw their beloved owner and heard the telltale rattling of their next meal, they rushed towards the man in the box that held the promise of long-desired nourishment. As expected, the box contained milk and cat food. Satisfied, they spent the rest of the day playing by themselves, completely oblivious to the significance of that meal. The next day, the kittens lingered near the entrance, eagerly awaiting Mr. Johnson's return inside the box he had gifted them the day before. By evening, their tiny bodies shivered in the chill air, and their stomachs growled with hunger. They spent the entire day outside, hungry and freezing. By the next day, it dawned on the little kittens that they had been abandoned. Confused and desperate for food and shelter, they extended their reach to the residents of the building. They approached the doorstep, their tiny noses pressed against the cold metal, meowing softly as if begging for a lifeline. But the residents, lost in their own worlds, walked past without a second glance. The kittens' pleas echoed in the empty hallway, unheard and unanswered. The days turned into nights, and the kittens, exhausted and hungry, settled onto a nearby bench. But passersby ignored their plight, and even the other residents, who occasionally tossed a morsel of food their way, did little to alleviate their suffering. In this sea of indifference, the kittens clung to the hope that Mr. Johnson would return and reclaim them. Little did they know that their owner had callously moved on, leaving them to navigate the harsh world alone. He thought that they were too strange thin and tiny to be cute, and knew he wouldn't make a single buck if he tried to sell them. The entrance of his building, once a gateway to warmth and shelter, now stood as a harsh reminder of the fickle nature of human companionship. Every morning, the kittens would watch as Mr. Johnson marched in and out of his house, boots clunking against the pavement. His routine was simple but heart-wrenching for the four small kittens who huddled together at the entrance, their innocent eyes pleading for a morsel of attention from him. Their owner would walk past them, his gaze fixed straight ahead as if the kittens were invisible. Their tiny mews became fainter with each passing day, drowned out by the sounds of the busy street and the door slamming shut. As the days turned into weeks, the kittens faced the harsh reality of street life. Their once fluffy furs became matted and dirty. They tried to explore the surroundings, but they were lost and confused in this vast, unforgiving world. They had to adapt to life on the street, finding shelter under the bench and scavenging for scraps of food in the corners. Some days, their hopes for food and attention seemed to have come through, when Mrs. Rodriguez, a kind-hearted woman, would occasionally leave a saucer of milk and Mr. Thompson, an elderly man with a cane, would toss a few kibbles their way. But these small gestures were fleeting mere drops in the vast ocean of their need. The indifference of the residents was a bitter pill for the kittens to swallow. They longed for warmth, a gentle touch, and a place to call home. As if life wasn't hard enough for them, soon another problem arose. Some residents wanted the kittens to leave. Some of them claimed to be disgusted by the sight of these untamed and homeless cats that came looking for food and would sometimes try to touch them. Mrs. Rodriguez and Mr. Thompson, the occasional providers of meager sustenance, were caught in the crossfire. They tried to shield the kittens, standing up against the threats and intimidation, but their voices were drowned out by the louder demands of those who wanted the kittens gone, peered in the form of a compassionate woman in the neighborhood named Mrs. Harper. Mrs. Harper, with her warm smile and gentle demeanor, couldn't turn a blind eye to the plight of the four kittens. She had noticed them during her daily walks, their tiny figures huddled together near the entrance, their eyes reflecting both fear and hope. As Mr. Harper checked on the kittens day after day, her concern deepened. The busy road nearby became a constant source of worry for her. She observed them teetering dangerously close to the traffic, ignorant to the potential dangers that lurked just a paw's length away. The kittens, unaware of the fast-moving vehicles and the risk they posed, seemed to be playing a perilous game of chance, and Mrs. Harper could not bear the sight of this. Unable to stand by idly, Mrs. Harper decided to take matters into her own hands. She couldn't shake the image of the kittens being crushed under the wheels of passing cars, and that concern fueled her determination. 
Armed with a newfound purpose, she took it upon herself to find a new home for these innocent kittens. She would occasionally reach out to animal welfare centers, research local organizations, and also reach out to volunteers who might lend a helping hand in finding a home for the kittens. Her efforts were met with both challenges and small victories. Mrs. Harper tirelessly made calls, sent emails, and attended local meetings to raise awareness about the kitten's plight. She became a voice for those who had none, advocating for their safety and well-being. The neighborhood slowly began to take notice of her passionate endeavors, and a few residents started to question their own indifference. But, despite her best efforts, tragedy struck. One day, Tiger, the tiniest and most adventurous kitten, was roaming the streets as usual, searching for food. His playful pursuit of a swift rat led him far away from the safety of his cozy home. Lost and hungry, Tiger's keen senses caught a delicious scent of fish drifting through the air. Driven by his growling tummy, the hungry feline followed the enticing aroma to a building where a man was enjoying a tasty meal. With hopeful eyes, Tiger meowed softly, seeking a friendly nibble. To his dismay, the man wasn't kind. He shooed Tiger away and even gave him a hurtful smack when the little kitten persisted. Hurt and physically injured by the impact of the smack, Tiger summoned his courage and embarked on a challenging journey back home. Each step was a struggle, but the determined feline pressed on. By the time he rejoined the other kittens, he was very weak. Unfortunately, no one noticed his silent suffering. Throughout the night, Tiger fought a silent battle for his life, bruised and in a lot of pain. As dawn broke, the world remained oblivious to his struggle. It was only during Mrs. Harper's routine check-in that Tiger's lifeless form was discovered near the entrance. Shocked and overcome with sadness, Mrs. Harper cradled the tiny kitten, tears streaming down her face. In that heart-wrenching moment, she made a promise to herself and to Tiger. Determined to honor his memory, she vowed to do more for the surviving kittens. As the wheels of change began to turn, Mrs. Harper took the surviving kittens to her parents' home, providing them a temporary respite from the harsh streets. The familiarity of the house offered a sense of security for Whiskers, Mittens, and Luna. Mrs. Harper's parents embraced the kittens with open arms, becoming a crucial waypoint in their journey to a better life. The surviving kittens, now bathed and fed, nestled together in a warm corner of Mrs. Harper's childhood room. As they slept, the weight of the hardships they had endured seemed to lift. Mrs. Harper, watching over the to local animal welfare organizations, leaving no stone unturned in her quest for support. Her phone calls and emails were pleas for help, echoing the urgency of the kitten situation. In her conversations with volunteers and organizations, Mrs. Harper poured out her heart, emphasizing the gravity of the kitten's predicament, the threat they faced every day on the unforgiving streets. One such call reached the ears of Sarah from Paws of Love, a dedicated volunteer with a passion for animal welfare. Moved by Mrs. Harper's heartfelt plea, Sarah immediately offered her assistance. Paws of Love, known for its commitment to rescuing and rehabilitating animals, was poised to step in and be a lifeline for Whiskers, Mittens, and Luna. Mrs. Harper's call had sparked a flicker of hope, and with Sarah's involvement, the possibility of a brighter future for the kittens began to take shape. Paws of Love agreed to step in and provide temporary shelter for Whiskers, Mittens, and Luna. Mrs. Harper's eyes glistened with gratitude as the volunteers assured her that the kittens would receive the care and attention they so desperately needed. The journey to Paws of Love was a mix of emotions. Mrs. Harper carefully cradled the kittens in a makeshift carrier, their eyes wide with curiosity and trepidation. Getting there, the volunteers greeted them with warmth and kindness, creating a different scenario to the harsh realities the kittens had faced on the streets. The cozy atmosphere of Paws of Love was about to become a temporary haven where Whiskers, Mittens, and Luna could begin to heal until a permanent home was found for them. The volunteers, with their gentle hands and soothing voices, worked tirelessly to make the kittens comfortable. Blankets were laid out, toys were provided, and the once fearful trio tentatively explored their new surroundings. It was a subtle moment of transition the kittens leaving behind the harshness of the streets for a place where compassion reigned. The emotional currents in the room were undeniable as Mrs. Harper witnessed the beginning of a transformation. 
The emotional roller coaster continued for Whiskers, Mittens, and Luna as they embarked on their journey to a permanent foster care. Paws of Love, with its team of dedicated volunteers, arranged the transition with meticulous care. The kittens were gently transported to where potential adopters awaited. Mrs. Harper, standing beside the carriers, couldn't help but feel a mixture of hope and anxiety, the culmination of weeks of tireless efforts hanging in the balance. As the carriers were opened, the kittens emerged into a room filled with curious faces and tentative smiles. Potential adopters, their hearts both drawn to and wary of the kittens' past, observed with a mix of hesitation and curiosity. Whiskers, the bold and outgoing one, tentatively approached a couple sitting in a corner. Luna, with her wide eyes reflecting a mixture of fear and curiosity, stayed close to Mittens, who seemed to be assessing the situation with a cautious demeanor. The initial interactions were marked by skepticism and uncertainty. The potential adopters, aware of the kitten's challenging background, hesitated to fully commit. The room buzzed with a mix of whispered conversations, and Mrs. Harper, standing at a distance, couldn't help but hold her breath as the fate of Whiskers, Mittens, and Luna hung in the balance. Despite the initial reservations, dedicated volunteers from Paws of Love stepped in, offering insights into the kitten's personalities and the progress they had made in foster care. The narrative began to shift from skepticism to understanding, and as the potential adopters spent more time with Whiskers, Mittens, and Luna, a transformation unfolded. The barriers of hesitation crumbled, replaced by the blossoming of affection. The joy that radiated from the room was palpable, as Whiskers had now found a home with a family who had initially hesitated. The once cautious couple, now beaming with smiles, embraced him into their family. Luna, too, captured the heart of a compassionate soul who saw beyond her initial fears. A kind-hearted individual with a penchant for the underdog opened her home to Mittens. Mrs. Harper felt a surge of gratitude for the volunteers who had played a pivotal role in ensuring that the adopters saw beyond their initial skepticism. Aware of the kitten's past, the new owners approached them with gentle patience. In turn, the cats responded with a gradual thawing of their cautious exterior. The resilience that had sustained them through the trials of street life became a beacon of hope in the cozy confines of their new homes. Once tiny balls of fur facing the harsh realities of abandonment, the three kittens now found solace in the embrace of caring owners. Whiskers and Luna, once discarded and overlooked, found love and acceptance in their adoptive homes. Mittens, known for his resilience, transformed from a cautious observer to a cherished companion. This story started with someone leaving kittens behind, but it ended happily because of Mrs. Harper, paws of love, and caring people who adopted them. The journey of Whiskers, Mittens, and Luna shows how love can heal and give hope to those who need it. What a beautiful ending! How would you have reacted in Mrs. Harper's shoes knowing that your neighbor had abandoned four helpless kittens? Would you adopt a pet with a sad background? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.